Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sonia. And I'm Justin. And we're the Funko Fiends. And today, happy, happy, joy, joy, we are taking a look at the Ren and Stimpy Funko Pops from the, I guess, Ren and Stimpy line, but there's also more Nickelodeon Nicktoon stuff coming later this year, so I guess you could technically say it's a part of that. So then taking a look at the packaging, and we'll just take a look at Stimpy, because other than the character, they're going to pretty much be the same. So you've got the Ren and Stimpy logo here up at the top, as well as like this um, like big brick background there, and um, both of them on the back of the packaging with like this blue sparkly background there. And of course, it's just Ren and Stimpy. There is a Ren and Stimpy chase, which is actually like where they're polka dotted based off of a certain episode. I don't exactly remember um, what that's from, but they're like white with like black polka dots all over them, and those are the chases. So then taking a look at the figures outside of the packaging, as you can see, neither of them come with stands. Um, and Ren, when we first took him out of the packaging, he was really, like, having trouble standing up. See, now he's going to keep falling over again. I did kind of, like, bend his head forward a little bit, but um, it only seemed to, like, temporarily help because he's already starting to kind of fall back over again. Not the end of the world, though. There is ways to fix it with, like, the hot water trick where you just kind of, like, bend the plastic into place. That's usually pretty easy to do. Um, but, you know, putting that aside, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at Ren first. As you can see, he's got his big ears sticking out of the top of his head, as well as like the weird like little hairs and like almost liver spots on the top of his head, and that looks really good. Um, and then he's got his little tiny mouth there, and that actually looks really cool. It's very like stylized to look like the character, as well as his eyebrows and his little nose. The paint's all really, really good and really, really clean on this figure. Um, so I would definitely say he looks pretty good there. Yep, there you go. He's not standing again, but or, there you go. And then so taking a look at Stimpy, as you can see he's got his little gloves um, actually sculpted out and like painted on his little like fingernails there so he looks really good. He's got that very goofy like stupid looking face on and you know looks really accurate to the character and looks really good as well as like that little tiny sprout of hair coming out of the top of his head. And um, the paint on ours is really really nice it looks really sharp really clean and um, even like his nose is painted really well and um, everything looks good in his little tongue. There's like a little splotch there on his arm that I just noticed. It was kind of glaring before, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. And then he has a butt. <laughs> and he has like a fully sculpted out nice little butt there. Um, and there's Ren falling over. Um, but we did notice there's like a little scratch or like, I don't know what that is on the back of it, but I mean, that's not a normal thing. I, I don't exactly know what that's supposed to be or, you know, what that's from. But it almost looks like, you know, the plastic got scratched. And this is the first time we've taken him out of the packaging. So I have no idea what that would even be. Um, but he has, like, a really cool sculpt. And I really like that they actually gave him the little butt on the back. And it looks really good overall. And I think both of these figures' molds, um, you can definitely tell who they are. And they're, they're really well stylized. And they actually look really, really cool and look goofy and stupid and that's kind of how Ren and Stimpy is supposed to be so these figures mold and everything looks really good and accurate to those characters. So then discussing price and how we feel about these figures, these are both commons. They're, like I said, there is the chases of them. Um, these are the commons though, so you should be able to find these at most places. I know like our Think Geek had them, um, Hot Topic, GameStop, you know, same usual spots that you'd be able to pick up pops at should be able to find them. And I've actually seen a lot of people finding the chases for these as well. So I think the chases are honestly pretty easy to come by. So, um, I mean, as far as how I feel about the figures, I feel like they're really, really accurate to the, like, the characters and their style and everything. I'm not, like... I, I wasn't, like, the biggest fan of Ren and Stimpy when I was a kid. I think I only watched it, like, very, very, you know, sparse, like, sparsely. But um, I do... You know, I am looking forward to the Nicktoons pops. So I did want to pick these up. Um, and I also think that they're really, really good figures. Like, I think they they really match the characters and how they're supposed to look really, really well. And I think these are all around, like, really good figures. Um, but again, like I said, I don't even know what the chases were from. I don't even remember um, that episode or anything. But I do think this figures turned out really well. And if you were a fan of Ren and Stimpy or, like I said, the Nicktoons, these would probably be figures that you're going to want to pick up. Um, did you have anything to add in, though? They're a very good representation of the character. Like, they look exactly like how they do in the show. Um, they are... Like, their paint is just very basic. There's not really too much to it. Um, but, like, the detail on Red's head is cool. Um, and then, like, Stimpy's little butt molded <laughs> out is cute. He's got a nice butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, I think, like, that detail and just, like, like she said, oh, well, he's going to show you the top of his head there. Top of his head, you know, with, like, the little liver spot looking, 
you know, whatever on the top of his head. Um, looks really good, and I think that these figures actually turned out looking really nice. And uh, again, like I said, I would recommend them for anybody. Nicktoons, or you're just super into Ren and Stimpy, or 90s baby stuff too. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you guys leave us a comment, let us know what you thought, or uh, what you'd like to see next. Um, I know this was actually something that somebody requested, so that's the main reason we wanted to do this video. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys get subscribed, so you see these videos as they come out in the future. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You have a good one, good luck out there, and keep on collecting. Bye! Hey guys, it's Justin. I just wanted to let you guys know that I've put the button to subscribe and a couple of other videos that we think you might like here up at the end. So press any of these little buttons to subscribe or just to watch another video after this one. Thanks, good luck out there, and keep on collecting.